gathered together for an emergency summit to discuss this month's coup in Guinea. The leaders of the Economic Community of West African States, or ECOWAS, said that they are rolling out a hard-line stance against Guinea's junta members. The head of state insisted that the transition must be very short. This time, the authority decided to go on specific sanction directly to individual. In addition to freezing assets, imposing travel bans, and demanding the release of deposed President Alpha Conde, the 15-member group called for elections to be held within six months. The ECOWAS sanctions come as Guinea's ruling military has been holding a four-day consortium with political and religious authorities as well as diplomats and mining executives to discuss the path back to civilian rule. On Tuesday, Lieutenant Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya said that they are open to talks, but he did not set a timetable for elections. We also wish to listen to you, to hear your analysis, and to receive all enriching proposals while respecting our integrity. The democratic backsliding in Guinea has led to comparisons and to fears that it could go the same route as neighboring Mali, where a year after a push there, the military is still in power. At the emergency meeting, ECOWAS leaders also demanded that Mali stick to its promises of holding elections by next February.